This Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, The God of Surprises. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SBD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salita Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion Jr. SBD, Associate Priest of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. <music> gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. Tayo ay naririto na naman. Sabi nga sa kanta, sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. So there is something special, something beautiful in our gathering for today, this Eucharistic celebration that reminds us of the care, the love, and of course, the promise of God's salvation for all of us. And so with this, we prepare our hearts for this communion. We call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what, what I have done and in what, what I, have I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, my God. 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may marry to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Elijah preaches God's word against King Ahab and his wicked queen Jezebel. Thus, he is persecuted. God sends an angel who restores Elijah's physical and moral strength. The first reading. A reading from the first book. Of kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He laid down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then, an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Oreb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The spirit we have received from God is kind and compassionate. By being true to the spirit, we make our life a pleasing offering to God. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you along with all the malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love. As Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord the jews murmured about jesus because he said i am the bread that came down from heaven and they said is this not jesus the son of joseph do we know his father and mother then how can he say i have come down from heaven. Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will rise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So muli po, magandang umaga sa inyo. 
ating mga kasama dito sa ating uh, Family TV Mass. At um, balik na naman tayo sa ECQ. At yung pinag-uusapan, nakalimutan ko na yata kung ano ba ang gagawin pagdating sa ECQ. At napakadaming mga nakakompromise. Mga gawain, trabaho, mga activities natin. Yung mga akala mo medyo pwede na ang gawin, pwede na siguro makapasyal-pasyal ng konti. Pero balik na naman tayo rito because merong isang variant, na, the Delta variant na um, ating uh, pinagsusumikapan na hindi uh, lumaganap dito sa atin. At sabi ko nga of many things ano, na nakakompromise, ang isa rito ay sa pagkain. Kaya nga, ay mga regulations pagdating sa pagkain ay medyo maluwag kesa doon sa iba. O, diba halimbawa, ang mga pamamasyal, ang mga pagtitipon-tipon, ayan medyo hindi mo na pwede ngayon. O, sa mga traveling, ingat na ingat. Pero ang hindi nila pwedeng itigil ay yung uh, kakayanan natin na bumili o mag-purchase o mag-produce ng pagkain. At ang isa siguro sa, sa uh, mga nangyayari ngayon, ayan, uh, we resort to deliveries. Kaya lang, siyempre sa atin, mga food lovers, eh, tayo mga, siguro naman lahat ng lahi eh, food lover, pero tayo mga Pinoy, talagang kakaiba rin ang ating hilig pagdating sa pagkain at tayo hindi pa huli. Lalo na yung nauso nitong mga nakakaraang mga panahon na kung saan yung mga pagkain ay pipicturean muna bago kainin. No? O kaya naman ay nagiging mapili tayo. Kaya nga sa mga nagbubukas ng mga bagong restaurant, kainan, ay nagsusumikap sila na maging kakaiba ito. Nagsusumikap sila na ang kanilang i-offer ay yung makaka-attract sa tao. Pero yung sasabi ko na pagdating sa ganitong pandemic, medyo ang nagiging sinasaalang-alang na lang natin ay yung food for sustenance. Kaya nga, pag may ayuda, eh, hindi na choosy kung anong makarating sa'yo. Kung, ah, well, typically, ang mga nagiging ayuda natin, bigas, at saka dilata, sardinas. O, hindi ka na pwedeng bumamili kung ang bigas ba ay eh, dinorado o hindi. O, kung Harley ka ba, kung Angelica ba yan, no? Ay, kung ano nandyan. Kasi nga, yun ang nasa isip natin, yun ang nasa, nasa um, priorities natin, no? na makasustain hanggang sa dumating yung araw na masasabi natin na everybody, everything is back to normal. At alam nyo sa ating pagbasa ngayon, knowing that the provision or uh, the presence of food is seen also as a presence and care of God to all. O dalawang Sundays na na ang pinag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa tinapay, pagkain. O, yung mga Israelita sa disyerto were provided food by God. Though hindi nila masyadong kilala o alam yung pagkain na yon, the manna in the desert, ay tinitingnan pa rin nila yon as a provision from the Lord para makatawid sila doon sa kanilang mahabang mahabang journey. O ngayon, uh, ang pinag-uusapan natin sa first reading ay hindi ng mga Israelites kundi si Elijah, no in the Book of Kings wherein Elijah was so desperate already. Alam niyo po ang si Elijah eh para maituturing natin niya na isang mandirigma. No, of course he's a warrior for God, he's a prophet for God. And at one point ay mabigat na sa kanya yung kanyang uh, ginawa, yung kanyang dinala. Masasabi natin that God was triumphant in the battle, but it took the toll out of Elijah. And that is why in his remaining journey ay, ano, he prayed already <laughs> sa Diyos. Sabi niya, Lord, this is enough. Take my life already. Siguro hindi lang yung burden, yung heaviness. Ay, isa pa rin doon ay yung gutom. 
saan siya kukuha ng sustenance. At ayan, hindi nagpabaya ang Panginoon. In His kindness, in His power, in His compassion, ay nagpadala siya ng pagkain, tubig, para kay Elijah. And we take this as a symbol of a provision para sa kanyang natitirang journey. Kaya nga, pagkatapos nun, ano sabi? Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate and drank, then strengthened by the food. Oh, he walked for 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. Pagdating naman sa responsorya sa is the invitation to taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And using that as a transition, na-elevate pa yung goodness na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Knowing that there is another journey na gagawin natin. May paglalakbay tayong gagawin eh. Tayo, from this life to the life that God has promised. And this time, hindi lang yung pagkain na typical na kinakain natin. Food for the body. Food that, ang description ng ating Panginoon eh, uh, the, the, the food that is perishable. Ito yung pagkain na tama lang doon sa katawan natin because ito ay temporary lang. It's a temporary provision. But sabi ko nga sa inyo, ay nag-upgrade pa ang Panginoon. And this time, God gave us the food for our journey from this life to the other life in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in the development of faith, ano, we ended up by having the Eucharist as the meal that provides us the food from heaven who is our Lord Jesus Christ. O kaya nga, in-highlight ko yung sabi doon sa entrance hymn natin na sa piging, sariwain ang pagliligtas sa atin. And so, para bang nakikita natin na itong ating buong buhay actually ay isang napakalaking ECQ na kung saan ay we're looking forward to that day na makakapiling natin ng Diyos na magiging normal ang lahat para sa atin. And in this kind of journey, God is giving us this very unique but the most important provision that we can have. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So muli, ang pagkain ay presensya ng Diyos, ng kanyang biyaya. He provided food to His people in the first reading kay Elijah to complete the journey. At pagdating sa atin, meron din tayong paglalakbay na kinukompleto. Our journey from this life to the other life. At ano ang makapagpapalakas, magbubusog sa atin, ay yung pagkain na galing sa itaas. And that food is given to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya sa ating pagsasalo-salo, ayan, sariwain ang pagliligtas ng Diyos. Sariwain ang kanyang kabaitan, sariwain ang kanyang pagbibigay ng biyaya. Hindi lang ayuda, kundi biyaya para sa ating lahat. The food for the body, but most important is the food for our soul. Amen. And now with one heart, we now profess our faith by praying, I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God, light from light, from light true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our, our sake he was crucified Pilate. under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God's love abounds for us. Let us now pray to God our Father to manifest his love for us as we plead to him with confidence and say, Listen to your people, O Lord. Listen to your people, O Lord. For Pope Francis, Honesto our bishop, priest, and deacons, may they be faithful in their commitment to God and to his people. May they lead the church towards a deeper desire for eternal life. We pray. Listen, Listen to your people, people, O Lord. For government and civil leaders, may they be zealous in their work of justice and peace to achieve God's plan for the world. We pray. Listen, Listen to your people, people O Lord. Lord. Against the pandemic, may the Lord heal and restore into wholeness all who are affected in any way by COVID-19. Let them all find comfort in God, we pray. Listen, Listen to your, your people, people O Lord. Lord. For all the faithful, may we find sure hope and strength in our daily partaking of this Eucharist. May we live loving each other as brothers and sisters. We pray. Listen, Listen to your, your people, people, O Lord. Lord. For our departed loved ones, may the Lord embrace them and grant them joy in his eternal embrace. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to your people, people O Lord. Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. We include the special healing prayer for Miss Norma Salo and Thanksgiving prayer for Rico and Mitch Pablo and family. We pray. Listen, Listen to your people, people Lord. O Lord. Almighty Father, help us to multiply your graces to our good works and solidarity with those who suffer. May we be filled with your blessings necessary to bring service to our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sisters and brothers that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church be pleased O Lord to accept the offerings of your church for in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, dear church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesta, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we now dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the bread from heaven. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in each children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumsud. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jensen and Joseph Renadimitz. Pray for us. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Father Bel San Luis SVD, executive producer of Family TV Mass, 
We would like to thank the following for making our family TV Mass possible. Reverend Father Pablito Tagura, SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Reverend Father Alfredo Rollon, Jr., SVD, Mass Celebrant and Homilist. Brother Nino Verzosa, our lector and commentator. And Daryl Ibarra, your commentator. Special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors. To our televiewers here and abroad and our online audience, thank you. And also to our seminary staff and personnel, thank you and God bless us all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his healing and blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every desire, distress, and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and taste the goodness of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.